Hello again. So we're looking at the right hand side of the screen here, that green lane area there. You're going to come up that road that goes up towards Forest Green and then you peel off by the side of a really nice house. Goes straight down, starts off loam and then it kind of turns a corner. The other way that you can do it is go along Standon Lane. It's signposted towards Gatton Manor Hotel. Trap Lane is tarmacked. It turns into a loamy rain as it goes through between some par um, farms. You turn right, you end up in the same place and then it uh, drops into uh, drops into the stream and then you go up Pisley, uh, towards Pisley Farm. That first 200 metres is, uh, is uh, like, um, actually it's all tarmac to think probably. So there's the nice house on the left. I'm sure they're over the moon about this, about having this um, lane going down the side of here. The sign says it, really deep mud, you know, enter at your own risk, dragons here kind of thing. Really nice this. And just note that you're dropping here, you're dropping in, in elevation, just uh, it's all going all going down. I'm showing the summer, this must look absolutely stunning, you know, with the green canopy coming over. On your right, what you can see is a trap lane, green lane coming in. So I'll do that one at the end. There's some sign there that said, that there was a sign on the tree, I forgot what it said, but it said, you know, you're doing this voluntarily or something like that. On the right hand side is the uh, fifth and then the ninth hole at Gatton Manor. Well, Pisley Lane, uh, it's like a, a, a T-junction trap lane and then it kind of goes on and then it turns into Pisley Lane as you as you go up the other side. I'll, I'll, I'll do the, the aerial view in a second if I've not done it already. Um, so I got a stick, walked down, you know me, ever cautious. I parked up here somewhere where I could turn around and get out if it was uh, not for me. Walked down, I've got a route that I think I'll be able to do. The stream itself is pretty low. And then the other side is just a gentle gradient that comes up to the concrete on the other side and goes to, I think, Pisley Farm or something like, something like that. Basically, it goes out more towards Leith Hill, which is where you'd catch up on this little route anyway. Um, was talking to a chap, local chap, walking his dog, super unhappy. Some people have been, uh, some bike riders have been riding off over the Easter weekend in the Bluebell Woods on the right hand side. I'll, I'll point it out to you. And that kind of doesn't do um our sport any good you know it just upsets people um treating it like a, a you know a motocross park and all that that's going to end up this and you can see it now this is going to get tro'd so um this will get closed you can just see it it's going to be one of those things this is unpassable if uh, if you're a pedestrian you have to kind of go up on the sides and if you're a horse rider um i wouldn't bring my horse down here um because all that that looks like is um leg breakage um and uh that's never cheap is it with vets bills they're more expensive than mechanics bills so right so that's my point of view on this if you do come down and do pisley lane check it out first don't be a hero and just go straight through um get your mate to go down first um don't do it in the wet don't do it in winter do it at the end of spring or the end of summer when it's been really dry and then it'll be a doddle and uh, i've got to say probably do it before it gets tro'd because that's coming See you later. So I walked down uh, to the stream, looked up. That's where I was standing up there. There's that lip there. It's a bit deceptive. You don't really see it on the video in a second. I stayed on the left hand side as I was coming down to this. It felt like that's where the main water went and it probably washed away a lot of the mud. The stream here is really low, not rained for the past 10 days. Go away and have a look at some of the other videos and you can see it's much higher. You can see where people have been uh, using those uh, in the woods just there on the right hand side in that little video that tree's been there for a while blown down in the storms i get the feeling that no one's in a rush to actually move it in the middle it's pretty grotty i stuck to the left and it was less grotty this is after 10 days no rain so you can imagine in the winter this is fun and games to the point where you can't walk down it you know you can't walk down it it's not open to all traffic it's open to, you know, bikes, motorbikes with chunky tyres and 
and off-road vehicles that's all so then you come out here the lip is just there on the right hand side imagine difficult to do if you come in the other way and I've never seen anyone do it come in the other way this was easy and then all of this is pretty easy which made me wonder whether it was tarmac or gravel or something like that underneath and this was just mud over the top um, don't know this those woods on the right hand side were where people were uh, illegally biking over the Easter weekend that the chap was upset about this is pretty easy climbs steadily um, as you come up here as you go around this corner on the left hand side is Pisley Farm where those barns are on the left hand side and then it's a uh, fish fold farm on the right hand side and then it turns into a UCR um, and unclassified road which is the top which is the concrete bit Right, so while we're just on this bit, if you were, if you were doing all of these videos that I've that I've uh, posted, you could you could do them all in one day if you were coming down from London, and and you're now turning to to go back home. When you come out at the road here, if you turn left, that road would take you round to the bottom of Leith Hill, and then you could go up Leith Hill, which I think we did in number two, um, up Leith Hill. Uh, down the other side Wolverns and then that would bring you back and then you know you're on your way back up to London the alternative way to get to um, this little ford down here in, in Pisley Lane is from Trap Lane Trap Lane is by um, the entrance to um, Gatton Manor um, Park which is you know golf course and spa kind of place there was a really nice guy down here an older guy he said oh, you lost mate so I said no no I think I know where I'm going so he said, well, if you want to, you know, if you want to cross the stream, go down here, turn right, um, you know, watch what you're doing. But it was a super nice chap. When I was coming back from doing this, uh, this little route the other night there was um some horses here a couple of riders so um, stopped and we had a chat and they were they were like super nice this would be lovely in the summer you can imagine So on the right hand side in a moment then you it's the Gatton Park again the uh, fifth hole at Gatton Park and you come down and this effectively turns into a T-junction with Pisley Lane and if you were to turn right you would come to where I was you know standing with that tree there if you turn left it takes you back up to that um, really nice house but with that folks that's it enjoy your tour of the Surrey Hills and I hope that you get back home safe and sound stay tuned for some other ones but that's it for the Surrey Hills